Does this mean that someone is spying on me in my own home? I hate to say it, Olivia, but yes. There's no way these pictures weren't taken inside the house. Are the twins in the pictures as well? No, but the rest of the picture, your house, it doesn't look good. We have to figure out who took them. Hannah, can I please ask you for a huge favor? Of course. Can you come over and take care of the kids? I need to talk to Matthew right away, but I don't want to leave the kids alone with anyone. I'm on my way. Olivia worried that if the twins' photo was published in the newspaper, her ex-husband Ethan would find out her secret. But she also wondered, why were the twins missing in the pictures? This is completely unacceptable, Olivia. You don't even have privacy in your own home. I'm really sorry, Matthew. I know this is just one more round of bad publicity for the firm. You don't need to apologize, Olivia. You've done nothing wrong. But these pictures, they make my house look like a disaster zone. The pictures show my living room in total disarray. And they even included shots of my prescription medication and wine bottles in my trash. So your apartment was messy. That's it? Whose isn't? You're a single mother who works full time and you have two four-year-olds. If your house was never messy, that would be newsworthy. But it also looks like I have an addiction problem. Are you talking about those pills? The pills in the photo were prescribed to you by a doctor, Olivia, and you're an adult. You're allowed to drink wine and take medication. Plenty of people do. You're right. Of course, you're right. The real issue is how willing the paper is to just publish whatever they want about you. They must know these photos were invasive. If this keeps up, I'm going to have to sue them. I'm not worried about the tabloids, Matthew. They'll buy whatever pictures people have to sell, and I know they love to embarrass people. My question is, who took these pictures? Whoever it was, was in my house. Maybe they bribed your nanny or someone else from the daycare? I don't think Sally or anyone from the daycare would do something like this. We should rule out every possibility, though. We're going to figure this out. I promise you, no matter what it takes, you're going to feel safe in your home again. With Matthew's assurance, Olivia tried to distract herself by getting back to Ethan's lawsuit. Yes, Ethan? Any updates? I thought we weren't discussing legal matters on the phone. I think a simple yes or no is safe. If there's anything to discuss, we can set a meeting. There will be as soon as you let me do my job. I'll take that as a no. Call me when you have something. <sighs> Time to track down Rachel. Gotcha. Hmm. You wouldn't leave any clues on your public accounts. You're smarter than that. Hey Jess, can you find me anything on Rachel Nelson? Anything at all? Anything related to the Clark Corporation or Ethan Clark? Oh really? Your ex-husband, Ethan Clark? Is this legal business or personal? Legal. All right, all right, give me a minute. Okay. Rachel Nelson, 33, from the Midwest. A former assistant at the Clark Corporation, recently left for a new position and surprisingly, her socials are squeaky clean. <sighs> oh no. Oh wait, wait. Does Miss Rachel have a secret profile? What do you mean? Another profile is registered to her phone number, and it has a fake name and no personal information. And yikes, it is spicy. Spicy? What do you mean? How? Well, if this is her, which it is, Rachel was not a happy employee. All of her posts are trash talking about the Clark Corporation. Seems like she was pretty dissatisfied with the management. Jess? Have I told you lately that you're a star? Oh, I'm aware, Liv. Mommy! Oh, I missed you. Thank you so much for being with them all day, Hannah. This means a lot. Oh, no problem. But I have something to tell you. Harry, Emma, why don't you two go pick out a book for bedtime and Mommy will be there soon. What is it, Hannah? Well... I spent most of the day calling around, pulling strings in the industry to figure out how those photos of your home made it into the newspaper. Well, I gotta say, it's amazing having you doing PR for my law firm. <gasps> I know, right? It's like I get paid to gossip about you. What did you find then? Liv, that story, it wasn't just a regular gossip item. What does that mean? Someone bribed the paper to run it. I think you and I both know who it is. There's only one person who would pull something like this. Mia. Absolutely, yes. But 
there's more. I also know who took the photos. You remember the day the cleaning crew came to your house? Of course. The mess with the markers on the couch and everything in the photos looked just like the day the cleaning crew had come. But that means someone must have bribed them too. You think Mia was behind all of this too? Who else? That girl slept with your husband, her own sister's husband. And she's threatened you multiple times trying to get you to leave the city. This has got to be her. The next day, Mia and Mrs. Clark met up to discuss the next plan of action to tarnish Olivia's image. Ugh, we need to photograph those bratty kids, Mrs. Clark. Ethan should know about them already. Relax and drink your champagne. I'm very happy with the work you did so far. Thank you. So what do we do next? With Olivia's reputation in the trash, Ethan could now see that Olivia was not a good person. Now that all of New York City knows she's a party girl, it's time to start the custody battle. So how does this work? Do we just go down to the courthouse and file a petition for custody? We'll get there eventually, Mia. But first, we need to reveal the twins to Ethan and then the entire city. Olivia will never be able to live peacefully in New York City again. Back at her office, Olivia was worried about losing everything she had worked so hard to protect. She couldn't help but feel the weight of it all. Come in. Shutting us all out already, I see. I'm sorry, Matthew. It's just, it's safer to work alone these days, I guess. These rumors will pass, Olivia, trust me. You're not the only one who has had rumors spread about them in the papers. This has happened to you as well? Years ago. And I remember how difficult of a time that was. I had no idea. I'm so sorry to hear that. But everything is fine now. Anyway, how is everything going with the case? Well, we know for certain the messages came from Brett's computer. And if he didn't make them, someone who had access to his computer did. Come look at these posts. Look at this. All of the negative posts about Ethan and his company were written by Brett's assistant, Rachel. It sounds like she has a real vendetta against Ethan. But it will be difficult to prove the assistant actually created the documents. You let me handle that. We know the evidence is fake, and if I accuse the opposing counsel of submitting false evidence, they will have to retract it or face legal consequences. That sounds like a plan. I'll go meet with opposing counsel, and you can go tell Ethan the good news. Uh, right. Okay, I'll do that. Later that evening, Olivia arrived at Ethan's penthouse to share the news. Olivia, I assume that since you're here, you have important news for me. Yes, there may have been a big break in your case. What if it was Rachel who created the fake evidence against you? I found dozens of negative posts she made about you on social media. Why would she do that? I don't know, but I'm going to figure it out. So what does all of this mean? It means that without those messages, the case against you is very weak, and we have a better chance of winning. I knew Brett wouldn't try to take down my company. This is Olivia Smith. Liv, this is Hannah. What's going on, Hannah? You don't sound so good. You need to turn on the news right now about the lawsuit. Ethan, turn on the news. As Olivia tried to narrow down the actual suspect in Ethan's case, the media seemed to have devised their own story. Will Olivia be able to crack the case? Or will her personal history catch up with her? Hi, Olivia here. Please click on the link in description to listen to the full audio series. You can watch the next episode here in the playlist. 